What about all this weather? The experts on climate change say the evidence is in. 2010 is tied for the hottest year ever on record. And last year was the wettest one in recorded history. And those scientists say that's why we're reeling from the deadly weather extremes, as Lindsay Davis reports. It seems natural disasters are becoming everyday occurrences. Just today in southeast Brazil, this woman plucked from raging waters. More than 340 people have died there in floods and mudslides. Floods in Queensland, Australia, have ravaged an area the size of France and Germany combined. Many residents are being rescued from rooftops. And for some, the only way home is by boat. Things are pretty devastating. Officials in Sri Lanka say flooding there has affected more than a million people. We are measuring uh, certain types of extreme events that we would expect to see more often in a warming world. And these are indeed increasing. Many scientists say global warming is responsible for the sudden force behind the forces of nature. This is no longer something that's theory or conjecture or just something that comes out of computer models. We're observing the climate changing. It's happening. It's real. It's a scientific fact. The decade that just ended had nine out of the ten warmest years since they started keeping record in 1880. Scientists say that means more moisture in the air, contributing to torrential flooding rains around the world. And here in America, that means snow. Lots of it. During yesterday's snowstorm, both in Hartford, Connecticut and Albany, New York, they set records for snowfall in a single day. If left unchecked, climate warming will continue. And so the things that we're having hints now, foretastes of now, will become stronger. Many scientists say the forecast is looking more and more extreme. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.